What up guys? I am Bass Drop Keys, your frilling neighborhood Negro. And for those that don't know, I am and have been a 420 entrepreneur and educator for the past six years. In those six years, I've gotten over 7 million views online. Over 4 million of those views have been right here on this channel in less than two years. Today, I will be talking about three types of content that you can monetize as a 420 YouTuber. So if you're interested in 420 and wanna know more about how to be a 420 YouTuber, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that you never miss a notification whenever I post a new video. And now without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's do it. All right, guys, before we go any further in the video, if you're in the market for a brand new Magical Butter Machine, Onrock, Herbal Chef, Electric Infuser, or any of the products that you see right here on the channel, come to my website, shop.goodeats420.com. That is the website that you're gonna get the best price on an infuser machine if you need, or any of the accessories to go with it. As we all know, it is Black History Month, so you can use the code HISTORY to get a 10% discount the entire month of February. Shop.goodeats420.com. Okay, so today we have another subscriber question. This video will be going in the subscriber Q&A playlist. If you wanna see the other videos that we've done like this, make sure that you click the link that's in the description and watch the whole playlist. I think this is only our second video in the playlist, but go ahead and check it out anyway. Today's question comes from Brokus Buds. They say, just started my channel. Appreciate the info as always. Just wondering what's one of your 420 videos that are monetized? Well, Brokus Buds, I really appreciate the question. Not only am I gonna give you one, but I'm gonna give you three types of content that you can monetize here on YouTube as a 420 YouTuber. And if you stay till the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a bonus one. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here's number one. The first type of content that a 420 YouTuber can monetize here on YouTube is talking head videos, just like the video that I'm doing right now. According to my own YouTube analytics from this channel, the number one channel that my audience is watching other than me is a channel called 420 Scene. I watched two of his videos and on his videos, he's talking about things that are 420 related, but he's not showing anything on camera. Just like right now, I'm talking about things that pertains to being a 420 YouTuber, but I can monetize this content because I'm not showing any herbs or any flower in the thumbnail. I'm not showing any herbs or any flower or anything like that in this video. And I'm not talking about anything in the title that will be associated as well. If you guys notice, whenever I make these types of videos, I always use the terminology of 420 YouTuber. Some people like to say WeTuber and that type of deal, but if you use that particular word in your title, you will not be able to monetize your content. So if you're doing like a talking head video, which I'm doing right now, where you're just sitting and you're talking to the audience, even when you're doing your B-roll, if you're using any B-roll in your video at all, you do not wanna use flowers or dabs or anything like that. You don't wanna use anything like that if you wanna monetize your content. So the first type of content that you can monetize as a 420 YouTuber is talking head videos, just like the one you're watching right now. The second type of content that you can monetize as a 420 YouTuber is product reviews. If you wanna do a product review for a tent or a light or fan or fabric pots or shears or glasses or any of the accessories that go along with the being in the 420 community, you can definitely do that. The main thing is, once again, is that you do not show any flowers or dabs or anything like that. Do not show any of that in your video. As long as you don't show it in your video, you don't put it in the thumbnail, you don't put it inside the, the title of the video, you will be able to monetize that video. So here on my channel, for instance, you guys have seen the video where I set up and do the product review for the Ace Infinity 4x4 tent and the inline T8 fan. You guys remember that video? 
If you haven't seen it, I will definitely link it in the description for you. But in that video, I unbox, install, and do a product review on the tent and the inline fan. That video is able to be monetized because I didn't show any flower in the thumbnail, in the video, or say that in the title. In the title, I just put Ace Infinity 4x4 tent and inline T8 fan or whatever it is, product review. When you're doing product reviews, you can definitely monetize that content. But what's also great about product reviews is you can monetize that video in more than one way. Whenever you post the video on YouTube, that video is able to be monetized or so you're getting paid from Google AdSense. At the same time, wherever you got that product from, you can put your affiliate link in the description box and when people click on it, you can get a percentage of the sales. So let's use me as an example. Whenever I posted that Ace Infinity video, that video is monetized, so I'm getting paid from Google Assets for that video. At the same time, during the video, I tell you guys, if you use base drop keys, you can get a 15% discount on any order at aceinfinity.com. So what people will do is, they'll click the link in the description, they'll go over the Ace Infinity, they'll buy something, use my coupon code, they get a great discount, and I'll get a percentage of the sale. And they don't even have to click on the link because they know they can use my name, Base Drop Keys, to get 15% off whenever they go to the site themselves and they shop for whatever they're gonna shop for. Use my name, get their 15% discount. I'm gonna get a percentage or a commission for the sales. So I'm already getting paid two different ways with the same content. You do one video, if that video is monetized, you're gonna get paid from Google AdSense, and then whatever it is that you're talking about inside the video, if you have an affiliate marketing with that company, you can put your link in there. If you got it from Amazon, you're gonna put your Amazon affiliate link in the description. So when everybody clicks on it, you'll be able to get a percentage of the sales as well. So the second type of content that you can monetize as a 420 YouTuber is product reviews. And I just told you how you can monetize one piece of content in multiple ways. There's actually more ways that you can monetize one piece of content. Maybe I'll do a video like that for you in the future. If you guys wanna see that video, make sure you tell me in the comment section. I can definitely tell you all the ways that you can monetize the same piece of content. It's great being a content creator once you know exactly what to do. The third type of content that you can monetize as a 420 YouTuber, and it's very near and dear to my heart, is by doing recipes. That's right, you can definitely do edible recipes and monetize them here on YouTube. Once again, it goes back to what I was saying about what you put in your thumbnail, what you put in your title, and what you put in your video. If you can do your content without putting the actual herbs inside the video, then you're able to monetize it. So if you actually watch some of my videos, you will actually hear me say in the video, all right guys, you know what the herbs look like. I don't wanna show the herbs on camera so that way I can monetize this video. If you watch some of my Levo videos, you definitely heard that. Because once again, it's all about the title, the thumbnail, and what you show in the video. Let me use myself as an example once again. Let's say we're doing mac and cheese. You can put cannabis infused mac and cheese. If you title it that way, you will not be able to monetize that video. But if you put the best way to make mac and cheese or home baked mac and cheese or creamy mac and cheese or any other adjectives that you can think about, you will be able to monetize the video. That's also one of the reasons why I started doing the Clueless Drinker episodes here on the channel. Because I know that YouTube will let you monetize alcohol content, then I said, hey, I know that I can infuse different types of drinks. So I came up with the concept because I was watching Conan O'Brien, which I really love, his Clueless Gamer episodes, and that's what I came up with, Clueless Drinker, where I would make different types of drinks and I would infuse them during the video, but because I label it Long Island Iced Tea and not cannabis infused Long Island Iced Tea, and I don't show anything 420 in the, in the thumbnail, and I don't show anything 420 in the video. I just tell you guys, hey, this right here is tincture and we're putting it in, or this right here is whatever it is, and we're putting it in, but I'm not actually showing any 420 in the video. So I'm able to monetize all those videos. So if you're looking for content that you can monetize as a 420 YouTuber, you can definitely do recipes 
No matter if it's food recipes or drink recipes, you can definitely do that and monetize the video. Just make sure once again, you're gonna hear this a lot. Title, thumbnail, and what's in the video. As long as you're not showing anything and not mentioning anything, you can definitely monetize the video. All right, guys, so I've given you three types of content that you can monetize as a 420 YouTuber. I promised you guys a minute ago that if you stay till the end of the video that I will give you a bonus one. Before I give you that bonus, if you found value in this video so far, give me the thumbs up. It's free, it helps me spread the word out to more people. If you really, really enjoying the video and you wanna support me here on YouTube, hit that join button right next to the subscribe button and join the YouTube membership program and make sure that you share the video with your friends if you're getting value out of the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this bonus one. This is going to be the fourth type of content that you can monetize as a 420 YouTuber. Basically, if you can think of any other content that I didn't mention on this video as far as being a 420 YouTuber, and you can do that content without putting any 420 terms in the title, without showing 420 in your thumbnail and in your video, you can monetize it. Everything on YouTube is about how you present things, how you title things, that is what determines whether or not it's monetized or not monetized. So you can talk about all type of 420 subjects right here on YouTube. You just gotta make sure you're using the right terms so that you can monetize your video. The main thing is, like I've been saying, it's like a broken record. I know I've said this at least, a, it feels like a thousand times on this video, but this is what you gotta understand and think about if you're trying to have a monetized 420 channel and you're trying to make money because remember, just because your channel is monetized doesn't mean that you're making money. In order to make money, you have to make monetizable content. So if you're somebody who's thinking about being a 420 YouTuber or you're already one, and you don't care about getting any money from Google AdSense, you're just gonna focus on you know, the other ways that you can make money as a 420 YouTuber. We talked about it before. Brand deals, sponsorships, having your own products and services, Patreon, different things that you know you can do to make money. Some people don't care about Google AdSense. Hey, more power to you. But if you wanna have another stream of income as a 420 creator, trust me, you're gonna need it. Then you always have to worry about what's gonna be in your title, what's gonna be in the thumbnail, what's gonna be in the video. Sometimes whenever I'm about to do a video and I know that the video will not be monetized because I have to or I just want to show the flower or whatever it is, the dabs or whatever it is inside the video, then you have more freedom. You can use music that you normally wouldn't use because it doesn't matter. It's not gonna be monetized anyway. So you can use whatever music you wanna do. If you're somebody who cusses on your videos, which you guys know in real life, if you guys watch my live, my live streams, then you know I'm a cursor. I was in the military, I'm from the South. It is what it is. But on these videos, as you guys can see, I do not do any cursing because like I said, I'm trying to monetize my videos, but also I'm trying to have my videos be a certain way, a certain tone. I want them to be friendly for everybody to watch. When it's a lot of cursing and all that type of stuff, a lot of people don't wanna watch the videos. So that's why whenever I'm on camera and I'm doing these videos, I clean it up. But you guys know in real life, I be cussing, you know what I'm saying? So the fourth, and final way that we're gonna talk about on this video that you can monetize your content as a 420 YouTuber is, do whatever content that you can think about and be creative about, as long as you can do that content without showing 420 in the thumbnail, having any 420 terms in your title, or showing any flowers or anything like that inside your video, you can monetize that content. So guys, that's gonna to conclude today's video. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram, I am Bass Drop Keys. If you're interested in seeing the other coaching videos and the other subscriber Q&A videos that I have, look right next to me, you'll see the playlist where you can click on it and check out my other great content. Make sure that you check out my online smoke shop, goodeats420store.com. If you need a rig, recycler, or something from a smoke shop, goodeats420store.com. I really appreciate all of you. And until I see you guys the next time, peace and good eats.
I'm out, guys. Much love.